Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone. Come on in. I am Dr. Nicole Steele and I am going live today. Yes, I am going live. I would like to, first of all, uh, just thank one of my sisters. You know, it is important as we go through life to surround ourselves with positive people, with like-minded people. And I have a sister in my camp. Many of you may know her. Her name is Audra Mack. And she is the girl who always has her hand on my back, pushing a sister out of her comfort zone. So she has been prompting me forever. I mean, forever to go live. Now, I'm just going to be real honest with y'all. Going live just does not excite me because I am a, uh, a, a recovering perfectionist. So I like to have stuff uh, organized. I don't like surprises. You know, I'm a preparer almost to the extreme. So the thought of Facebook Live, I love Facebook Live. I listen to Facebook Lives, but I don't do Facebook Lives. But today is a new day. I am, uh, I'm live, y'all. <laughs> I'm just tickled. Okay, so I am starting a new segment called Cup of Confidence. Uh, well, let me start for a minute because I know some of you may not know who I am. You may have just tuned in. Maybe somebody shared this with you. And you're like, who is this? Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Dr. Nicole Steele, and I am the confidence coach. I get the pleasure of working with ladies, leaders, and little girls in a variety of capacities. I work um, as the founder and executive director of a phenomenal award-winning organization called Diamond in the Rough, but I'm also the partner of an of a organization called Gym Makers, which empowers ladies and leaders with conferences, with content, uh, creative workshops, and all kinds of cool things. So I love to be in a space of empowering women and girls of all ages. So I'm starting this new segment here on Facebook Live called Cup of Confidence, because I know as a confidence coach, when it comes to confidence, sometimes we need to just stir it up. Sometimes just like with real cups of coffee, we need a little espresso or something to just give us a little extra edge. And so when it comes to our confidence, I am coming with a cup of confidence in hopes that you can fill it up today and make your way. So for this very first cup of confidence segment, I wanted to um, just share with you uh, a word that's been on my heart. You know, even as I was getting ready this morning, I was, um, you know, checking messages. And in this time and space, we're in the, the middle of a global pandemic. And when it comes to confidence, for many of us, our confidence has taken a major hit. And I'm speaking for myself. I mean, you know, you think you had it. I know for some of you, you started off this year uh, in January with your plans. I, I had my plans. My plans of what I was going to do, what I was going to accomplish, all the things that I was going to check off my list. And guess what? It is August, y'all. And a lot of those things have not happened. In fact, I have spent a great deal of this year trying to catch my breath and regain my confidence because things are not the way that I ever anticipated they would be. Um, and I know I'm not alone. Many of you are really facing hardship or facing uncertainty or facing struggles. And so I've spent a lot of time over the last few months just seeking God, just like, you know, what is going on? I know it's caught me off guard, but as a believer, as a follower of Christ, I understand that nothing at all um, takes our God off guard. He knows all, he sees all, and guess what, y'all? He is able to handle all. So this Sunday, um, I was listening to, because uh, I'm in the, in the midst of all of this madness, I have found it imperative for me to feed my spirit. If you are trying to maneuver life right now on your own, trying to handle it on your own, let me give you a little tip right here. You can't do it on your own. You need to fill your spirit with the word of God. You need to seek him because he's the only one that can give you peace and can give you comfort in this time. So um, on Sunday, I was listening to a word and um, the pastor said something that just sparked something in me. And he was talking about 
the promises of God. And so I wanted to come to you today with just three little points. Maybe you're on your lunch break. <clears throat> Maybe you're in the break room. Maybe you're in the bathroom because you're trying to stay away from your kids and just get that one little moment of serenity. Maybe you're uh, watching this and you're at the park under a tree trying to get a fresh breath. I don't know where you are, but I just want to share three simple things that God did not promise. <laughs> you might be like, well, I thought you was going to fill my cup with confidence. Why are you telling me things, three things that God didn't promise? Well, I, it'll make sense in a minute. So... Um, I told you all that this morning when I was uh, getting ready today, I was checking my messages and I um, I saw a post from a former friend, a young lady that I knew 20 years ago, and she was asking for prayer for her uh, ex-husband who's fighting for his life right now. He went to the hospital with complications, um, you know, due to COVID, and within 30 hours, he ended up in ICU and has been in a coma fighting for his life. And so she was lifting up prayers and soliciting prayers for him. And I know his story is not unique. We have in our nation alone, almost we're almost at 200,000 people, almost at 200,000 lives that have been lost from this horrible, horrible pandemic. So when I think about things, I, you know, I was reminded this morning that, you know, God never promised us that we wouldn't face trials. He never, he never promised that in his word. But what he did promise, he promised us that he would never leave us nor forsake us. You know, in uh, Deuteronomy 31, 6, God's word said that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So for my sisters, all my sisters out there who are facing moments of uncertainty, I want you to be encouraged today. I want you to fill your cup with that promise that God says, no matter where you go, go I am Emmanuel. I am God with you. Whatever you are facing today, no matter how small or how enormous, God will never leave you nor forsake you. God also said that he would be our refuge and he would be our strong, our strong uh, tower in times of need. So that means no matter what we're facing, we can take it to our God. We can put it before him because, again, while it might be catching us off guard, it's not catching him off guard. God tells us also he promises us that if we cast our cares upon him, he, he's there. He's there. He is. He is waiting now, he's not a genie, but he is there because he cares for us. So we can cast our cares upon him because he cares for us. So while he didn't promise us that we would never face trials, we can hold on to those other promises that he is with us, that he'll never leave and forsake us. And that no matter how enormous the trial, we can cast our cares upon him. So let me tell you another thing that God didn't promise. God didn't tell us that we, um, he didn't promise us that we wouldn't face financial challenges. So let's talk about that. I know some people I saw yesterday, there are people who are still waiting for unemployment and financial relief. Um, there are people facing evictions. There are people who've lost their jobs, people whose investments have taken uh, just just plummeted and they're not sure they don't they're not certain about their financial stability maybe uh, for some of you you you've been good up until now but you're you're trying to take care of your family you you are having financial pressures and bill collectors and people you're trying to pay your rent and your mortgage keep hold on to your car God never told us that we wouldn't face financial struggles. But what he did promise us is that he is Jehovah Jireh and that he promised us that he would supply all of our needs. Uh, what scripture is that? That is Philippians 419, that he would supply all of our needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. You know, we don't always know where the source is. For some of us, the source may have been our paycheck. For some of us, the source may have been that bank account that always was stacked and that investment that you saw growing and growing and growing. And now that is not there anymore. 
you might not be able to depend on the things that you thought you could d depend on. But let me tell you, you can count on God. God loves you. Again, he cares for you. And he is Jehovah Jireh. He owns a cattle on a thousand hills, honey. So to pay your mortgage and to pay your rent, to hold on to your car, no, is nothing for him. He cares for you. His word says that he, he feeds the birds of the air. So if he takes care of the birds and the animals and the little creatures of the earth, how much more does he care for you? Just release it, relinquish it to, to him, put your eyes on him. I know, I know, I know it's a challenge. I know nobody likes to, to be in moments of uncertainty, but God loves you and he has a plan for you. And guess what? He has not brought you this far to leave you here. So be encouraged. The last thing I want to tell you that God never promised us. He never promised us that we wouldn't face moments of tough decisions. You know, we are we're actually right here in Georgia. Some schools have already gone back. I know many parents are, are terrified facing decisions about whether or not to send their kids back to the classroom, not how, how they're going to manage all of that, uh, whether you should, whether you shouldn't. Some of you are facing uh, opportunities and new open doors. Should I start this business? Should I not? Should I take this new job? Should I not? Uh, all of these different things. We will have tough decisions that we face on a regular basis. But guess what? God's word, though he doesn't promise us that we won't have those things, he does tell us to acknowledge him in all of our ways and that he would direct our path. What does that mean? What does that mean, Dr. Steele? That means that no matter what crossroads you're at, no matter what you're facing in life, you may not have the answer because you're not the all-knowing almighty, but there is one who does know all the answers. It has all the answers that you need. And so if you acknowledge him, again, bring it to his feet. Go like, y'all don't know the kind of conversations I have. I have some really interesting conversations. <laughs> real conversations with my God. And sometimes I come in frustration. Sometimes I come in despair. Sometimes I come in weariness and heaviness and just quite frankly, just being over it. But guess what? If I acknowledge him, if I say, Lord, you know, I'm at this crossroad and I don't really know what to do. I'm gonna need you to help me. He has been faithful time and time and time and time and time and time again to make my pathway straight, to show me the way, to give me that fresh wind, to give me that wisdom from on high, to keep on moving. So if you're facing a decision or two or three today, I encourage you to take it to the Lord. You don't have to have the answers yourself. You don't have to have the answers yourself. There's one more scripture I want to share. One of the promises God says in Isaiah 30, 21, um, in that book, he, who was he talking to? He was talking to the people of Zion, but he said, you know, I should get my readers. Y'all don't know I wear readers, but it says, whether you turn to the right or left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this way, walk in it. Then it tells them what will happen. Just like he was there for the people of Zion, giving them instructions. He wants to give you instructions. He wants to give you instructions about what to do as a parent raising your kids. He wants to give you instructions as it pertains to your job. He wants to give you instructions as it pertains to your family in terms of keeping you safe in these times. He wants to give us instructions. He doesn't want to be in a compartment just over to the side, just handling certain things. He wants to be um, in all, all areas of our lives. So anyway, you know, I hope that you are encouraged today and I hope that you will soak in God's word. His word is good, y'all. His word is good. There's nothing that we're facing under the sun that is, again, catching our God off guard. So be encouraged. 
I hope your cup of confidence is filled up today and you have just enough for today to get you going a little bit further down the way. I'm Dr. Nicole Steele, the Confidence Coach. Um, if you enjoyed this, I invite you to like it and I invite you to share it and to tune in for other episodes of A Cup of Confidence. Also, I invite you to follow me on social media at The Real Nicole Steele, as well as uh, follow Diamond in the Rough Incorporated or Diamond in the Rough Inc. and Gym Makers. Uh, so that you can stay abreast of all kinds of things and announcements and tips and tools to put in your toolbox. All right. Uh, you can also visit me online at therealnicolesteel.com. Thanks for tuning in. God bless.